What we're showing in this demonstration is some new capabilities that we're adding to the RT range. We have a vehicle which is set up with an RT, a 3002, and an RT range. Uh, we're going to be demonstrating uh, new software that we've added, uh, two new features. One we call feature points, and the second one is to add a polygon to a fixed point. In the feature points, we have a track laid out here with a number of fixed points which are defined. And those fixed points are defined in a file um, which the user can specify and then we can import in that into the RT range and the RT range will in real time calculate which are the nearest points within a defined field of view. The field of view is also configurable so with the field of view we can define the minimum and maximum distance of the field of view and also the angles both the angle of orientation and also the breadth of the field of view. So as we traverse around the track you'll see the, 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 the feature points um, which are appearing within that field of view displayed uh, in the real-time software. And then secondly, we'll be showing, as I mentioned, the polygon associated with a fixed point. Uh, so we'll get into the vehicle now and I'll show you how we set it all up and how the demonstration is. Uh, Here is, is the uh, feature point capability. Uh, what you'll see on the screen is that we have four windows from RT Config showing um, with the four targets, one in each window. And on the runway here, you'll see that we have uh, a number of uh, feature points. We have eight feature points defined. Um, as we drive along um, and we approach the feature points, when they appear in the field of view that is defined within the configuration, you will see the windows for each, the, the relevant target will show that feature point and it will show the distance um, and the ID for that feature point. And then below on this bird's eye view, you'll see the same thing with the feature points appearing um, as we approach them. Faz is going to show you just quickly before we start off how we, how we configure that. Um, so he's just going to load the data from the, the RT unit. So now here you can see the four targets and we have defined them all as feature points. And this is the file which the feature points uh, are loaded from. And now he's showing you the field of view so this is configurable, so we can define the maximum distance of the field of view, in other words, the objects will only be shown when they appear within that distance, the minimum distance from the vehicle, um, the offset angle, which is showing zero, that means directly ahead, and then the angle with the field of view, which is showing 90 degrees, where the measurement point is actually the front of the vehicle. So now, um, Stefan, if you perhaps uh, Zoom out a little bit so you can see steady speed forward. And now you can see that ID number one and two have appeared. And as we approach them, the distance altitude reduces. Now three and four have appeared. And then when we get uh, closer than five meters, the first two will disappear. So one and two are now disappeared, um, and three and four will disappear. And now as we drive further along we have more uh, feature points defined. Um, so as we approach the next one, which will be five, it will appear when it's with the 100 meters as it has done. And disappeared. And then we see number six. And number seven, which is the next one already within 100 meters. So we're now going to turn around and go back down the runway the other side and we just have one feature point on this side um, which is number eight which will appear very shortly but the interesting thing is as we drive down the runway even though they're quite some way away because other feature points are at times within 100 meters you will see them appear on the screen like number seven has appeared now and now it's disappeared outside the field of view and very shortly you see number six has appeared and now outside the field of view so even though it's some way away from us, it's still appearing uh, when we get within range. And then finally I'm just going to now pull back round onto the initial track that we were. Um, so as if we have the four feature points, the first four defined, as if we're coming up to uh, a crossroads or something. So now you can see all four have appeared. Um, but as, as we turn the corner, uh, you'll see them disappear and reappear 
as they come in and out of the field of view.